I'm Suzanne Ridgway from Let Us Eat and welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking menu planning. I have my meals planned out until the 31st of March. We're not quarantined in my county yet. There aren't any cases, but there are with neighboring cases, so it could spread over this way. And we do travel to those other areas. I have my freezer stocked, my pantry stocked, and I have some fresh produce as well as vegetables. Not too, too much because they just don't keep that well. And if I have too much, we're not going to eat it and it's going to go bad. So I, that we tend to buy as needed. My husband's going to be working from home next week. My kids still have school so far. So they'll get breakfast and lunch at school unless they change things and keep the high traffic areas to a minimal at the school district. I'm not sure what's going on. I haven't heard any updates yet from the district. So I have things planned and prepped for breakfasts and as well as lunches, uh, quick things that they can bring to school and eat during that time. This is the top of my refrigerator freezer, the smaller one. I have my shortcuts, which I'll be doing my tacos with. Just making sure that the vent's not completely blocked. That looks like a roast that we could do in our crock pot. That's going to probably be, go into April because I'm all done meal planning for the month of March. On our taco night, I'll be using my shortcuts. I use them for chicken teriyaki and I can use them for French onion chicken. I have a few of them. I have an extra steak here. Ice cream. My margarine for baking. Our peppers and onions. Produce peppers are very expensive right now, the bell peppers, so I get the frozen ones. These are great value from Wally's World. They're excellent for when I have a headache and don't want to make a lot of eggs. This is my overstock for my cereal on top. I got some behind it. I got some extra cereal over here. My shelves are a mess right now. I'll be decluttering them next week. Reorganizing all our sweets. See, they've got the rice when they're not supposed to be. Just kind of tossed. Peanut butter's falling over. Got a ton of pasta. I got my mac and cheese for the kids' lunches in case the school's canceled for two weeks. I got soups. I got bread. I got my bisquick for when I make biscuits and pizza dough. Extra snacks. Extra coffee. My daughter had a little baggie of chips. This is my menu that I drew up. I have lunches written, sides, and breakfasts, as well as the 15th, which is tomorrow, barbecue ribs. I'm going to be doing them in my crock pot. I make a sticky rib, I'm roasting a whole chicken in the oven on Monday. Then I'm going to make chicken taco spaghetti Tuesday with leftovers. And all the leftovers will be the lunches next day for me and my husband. The lunch is down here for my children because they are very picky. Wednesday I'm doing chili. Thursday I'm having pea soup. Friday's pizza night and steak night Saturday. We're probably going to grill on Sunday that Sunday. So there'll be chicken and then I'll do chicken soup. Tuesday I'm going to do shake and bake. And then the following Wednesday regular spaghetti. Then I have a kielbasa so I'm going to do Creamy sausage and potatoes. I have a ton of potatoes. We always do pizza Friday and pizza steak Saturdays. It's my rotating menu. And it is subject to change. It's not always set in stone. I got an extra thing of coffee when we were out today checking out the shelves just to see what it looked like. An extra creamer. I have these in my pantry still and I have a ton of sugar so I'm not worried about that. I have a half a bag still. My second freezer. I got party wings and behind it there's a spiral ham for Easter and our whole chicken so one of the whole chickens is going to be coming out for dinner on Monday night I have my a ton of steaks and ground beef down here and hamburger patties I have these I'm gonna make some muffins out of strawberries my husband likes them for lunch they're his Friday's hot chicken bites he uses frying hot sauces on them yeah, extra Vegetables, a ton of ground beef, these little pizzas. Those are just quick lunches. We all like them here. I got a bunch of ham steaks. 
this size. I'm going to take a few of them out to make my pea soup. And there's a ton of chicken at the bottom as well. Just to wrap things up, again, this is my menu until the 31st, and I have some meals planned into April. And it's all dump and go recipes for my crock pot. Some of them are in the oven or in casseroles. Very quick to prep. I don't have to do a lot of pre prepping. Most meals take about 15 or minutes or less to prep to put into the crock pot or a casserole dish or into the oven. And I just have to keep an eye on my roast because I rotate it every half hour, my chicken, and I baste it so that the white meat comes out as juicy as the dark. But thank you for watching. If you liked my video, please like it. At this time, please subscribe. And then tap the bell at the top for future notifications. And thank you for watching and have a great night.